Greetings, signs and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel and you resonate with my energy, go ahead and hit the subscription button. I appreciate all the donations, the bookings. If you would like to book with me, that information will be in the description box below. When I do open back up, I will announce it. I've already done my protection and called in the appropriate guidance, protection, and coverage needed for us. I just ask that you be. I'm hopping on really quickly to get this reading out. Um... It's, it's a lot of negative energy happening in the collective right now, right? There's a lot of hateful and uh, vengeful people operating out of their lower self, right? Um, these are individuals that choose to walk. Um, I, I heard the left-hand path, but they are very, very um, hateful, okay? And here we have the blood card and we have the La Luna, Okay. So this is uh, piggybacking off of the reading that I did yesterday. If you haven't checked it out, I'll try to um, put it in one of the cards here. But um, yesterday, the reading was speaking about the, the mark of blood on people's doors, okay, indicating that these individuals are safe. Here we have the Divine Feminine Energy, okay, and we have La Luna. So what I'm getting is a lot of people have been uh, spiritually attacked. A lot of divine feminines have been spiritually attacked. And this has been repeatedly, okay? Uh, messing with your heart chakra, messing with your crown chakra. For some of you, even physically messing with your property, okay? Um, I don't know if I explained this before in a, in a reading. Um, when you have these attacks coming towards you, mysteriously people will show up out of, in, out of nowhere these are people that are on a lower vibration they're a vibratic um a vibrational match for the energy that is sent out this is why you have to protect your surroundings and protect your peace okay that includes family so right now we are in the full moon cycle a lot of people are releasing uh negative energy they don't like the fact that um that you are happy, okay? They don't like the fact that I'm happy. They attack the readers. They attack anyone that doesn't abide by their rules, okay? When I just got chills. With the ecstasy here in the gospel, this is this is talking about the truth and the pilgrimage, okay? You are being guided to keep on going. Now, I have written down some information um, from the downloads that I've been receiving, okay? So I'm going to get to that shortly but with the truth card being here this could resonate with someone in um that is a libra but it doesn't necessarily have to be you could be a libra moon or you know just somebody that's off balance okay so i feel like somebody's coming to you with some distorted energy okay now this could apply to someone in your environment as well when you see the signs come out when i speak about the signs they could resonate with your sun moon rising jupiter mars mercury or venus and it's going to resonate different for everyone but this is talking about rituals now i have been been getting that download for a couple of days that there there are multiple people okay it's not just um one or two or three people there's multiple people they, they're taking shifts you know, we're sending out this negative energy. So it's very important for us to keep our vibrations up and to keep our protection up as well. Okay. With the rituals here, these people are ecstatic. So if you are a tarot reader, know that these people, if you go live, they're on your lives, they're doing energy harvesting, trying to pull um, the energy from the collective in there as well. That's not to hurt or um, to scare anyone because we operate out of a higher vibration, okay? But it's definitely to take your fortune, okay? To do, uh, to steal your joy, to steal your money and things of that sort. So this is something that's happening in the shadow. They do it to a lot of new tarot readers because the tarot readers that are new, they don't really know how to protect themselves. And, um, <clears throat> I don't want to offend anybody, but when you deal with tarot, you have to be versed in uh, many different cultures, okay? Um, I'm hearing dialects. Somebody may speak several different language, okay? I'm hearing Yoruba um, for someone, okay? And I'm also hearing Bruja. So we have different peoples that's coming from different um, 
from different places, okay, different countries, okay, and they're using different, they're using a combination of different things to attack you or um, attack the readers that you are watching, okay, so be mindful when you jump into these lives, okay, because people are taking names down, these people are very vengeful here, okay, so let's see what's happening here. We have the blood. So yesterday I spoke about um, the passages in the Bible that indicated the marking of the blood to indicate the chosen ones, the ones that are to not be harmed. Okay, so please do realize that if you are being attacked, know that you are one of those chosen chosen ones that um, have been attacked, but it's not affecting you. Now, you may be feeling it, okay, because I've been feeling it, all right? Um, they also send a lot of projection magic, a lot of uh, suicidal thoughts and things of that sort, okay? So, um, October is a very spiritual time. This is a time of the dead, okay, um, where the spirits roam. Now, I made a post about that on my community port, I realize that a lot of people may not know what I'm talking about when, when I speak about covering your head. You want to cover your head um, when you feel led to when you go outside, okay? Um, you also want to make sure you're taking your spiritual baths and you're doing that consecutively and, and any negative energy that's coming up in your mind, you're making sure that you send it back. This is the reason why these people are... Um, coming so severe with the attacks okay so a lot of these tarot readers they, their um, channels are being affected okay uh, because they're not able to keep people in these toxic loops the truth is coming out here okay so with the spells and the transformation that's the indication of um, death spells for me okay and Chiron healing now this is Aries energy this is speaking about manipulation of the mind man manipulation uh, you know, projection and things of that sort with the Chiron and the healing. You could have Scorpio in the eighth house. This could be about a Scorpio, but what I'm picking up uh, intuitively, is this is a karmic cycle, okay? So this person really needs um, a lot of healing and they will continue to need healing because they're doing a lot of projection, okay? I'm getting that you do not know these people, right? However, they are energy harvesters. They are energy harvesters, okay? Somebody could also also have, um, I'm hearing Scorpio in the 8th house as well as seven, um, Libra in the 7th house, okay? All right, but yeah, what did I say about the Mercury, the mind, okay? Mercury is the magician energy. It's that Papa Legba energy as well, okay? So this is people doing, um, thinking of creative ways to penetrate your um, your aura, your energy. With the ninth house, this is speaking about your religious practices, okay? With the 33, that is a master number. Some of you may be seeing that number. This is also talking about Kundalini awakening and things of that sort. Now, I'm being guided to talk about my experience with them tapping into my Kundalini energy. They tapped into my Kundalini energy for so long that it it, it put ailments on my body. They're not able to do it now. All right. So a lot of these people are feeling like maybe I'm doing spell work on them or or someone else is doing spell work on them. What is happening is people are healing. This may resonate with you if you're having back problems. OK. Um, yeah, because 33 is, you know. That's Jacob's ladder, okay? So some of you are high priestess or you're waking up to your spiritual calling, um, whether if it's tarot, oracle reading, or just you being a doctor, a lawyer, a musician, or whatever, okay? This is somebody that teaches a lot, okay? This is someone that is that has the ability to walk in both realms, the spiritual realm as well as the physical realm, okay? So I do feel like a lot of you have connected with connected with your calling. And so I'm being told to, you know, to warn the tarot readers that not everybody that comes up on your channel and that, uh, you know, and I'm sure a lot of you know, but this is a confirmation. A lot of these people are putting spells on you, okay? With the fortune and the cookie, um, okay? So I'm also getting that um, a lot of people are putting like, um, they're doing the, 
you know, why they why they're watching um, tarot readers, okay, to, you know, again, put like some sexual magic on you or to put like a lust energy around you. I noticed this before a couple of months ago when I would watch certain readers, I would get that um, the energy of lust, okay? So if you are an empath or um, clear audience, clear cognizant, all the clairs, okay? Um, you're, you, you, you're not tripping, okay? There's a lot of um, shadow magic being thrown at you, a lot of sexual magic, okay? They're also trying to block your crown chakra, okay? Some of you that are watching this, okay, that will watch this in the future or whatever, this has already happened to you or is currently happening to you with the clouds and, and the mystical, all right? With the full moon energy, they're trying to constantly throw illusions your way, okay? Taking a chance, rolling the dice, okay? A lot of the readers have shifted. Well, many readers have shifted into that energy of... Um, Speaking about black magic, why is blood here? Why is blood here? Okay, so yeah, these, these people feel off balance here with, with patience, okay? So these are individuals that's doing this, this spell work and they're coming to your channel or they're um, watching you for some of you, um, you know, that know that people in your neighborhood have participated in some spell work, okay? With the fragmented energy, what I'm picking up is uh, someone that throws bones, okay? And that's why I keep getting um, throw bones or shells or lots or, or things of that sort, okay? Ruins, charms, okay? Whatever they, they can at this uh, particular point, but I really feel like this is somebody that um, does divination by bones, okay? This is also speaking about fragmented energy, trying to throw you off balance, okay? For some of you, it is blood work being done, okay? Sorry about saying, okay, okay? <laughs> but with the omens, you may be seeing a lot of blood formations. I'm actually hearing crows crowing and this um, and things like that with the fire element. They're trying to come after your passion, the things that make you happy. These people are very envious and jealous of you. I got to just keep uh, reiterating that, okay? For some of you, you do not do not feel like you um, have a lot, okay? Uh, you are on your spiritual path, your spiritual calling, all right? Some of these people are physically attracted to you as well with the Mercury ret retrograde reinvention. I'm getting that, of course, we are in Mercury retrograde. We will be there, I believe, until the 18th of October. But what what I'm also getting is that you're going to have to really think about what you're watching, okay? Um, I wouldn't do any major traveling at this time. But it's also, with the full moon being here, there's going to be a lot of distorted energy. All right? Mercury retrograde, reinvent yourself. Somebody could also be going over paperwork or needs to go through paperwork. I feel like you are very highly protected while you sleep. Um, some of you may need to start doing prayers of protection before you go to sleep. Okay. I'm also seeing someone putting a pentacle under their bed. Now, this person that's putting the pentacle under their bed is somebody that does spell work, okay? With the Saturn here being truth, La Luna, I'm being told to tell you when these full moon cycles, um, a new moon cycles or whatever, just daily, you want to make sure you're, you're doing your... Um, you're um, focusing on your health, okay? Your beauty regimens, Sending back that negative energy. As long as you're staying above that energy, that it will not affect you. It's going to bounce right back to these people. With Saturn being here, this is also the devil in traditional tarot. But this is talking about the truth. Now, maybe it's the truth coming out that somebody tried to hide. Um, okay. But what I'm being told in intuitively is that you are under a process or undergoing a process of healing. Okay, so yes, they are spiritually attacking you, but you are still healing with the affirmations card being here in the wishbone. This is saying keep yourself in high vibrations, okay? Make sure you stay on your affirmations. See, we have the spell work, 
okay impatient so these people are becoming impatient okay so somebody also may be doing a lot of incantation in in the woods like covens and things of that sort okay so why am i saying okay 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 i feel like somebody may say okay a lot okay <laughs> With the arrow and the facts here, somebody is moving forward. They don't like your growth. You may also have somebody coming to you with a proposal of some sort. This is interesting. Why is blood here? Oh, that was fast. Challenges, okay? So what what did what did we what did what did I say, okay, about your desires? They're coming after the things that you love. Some of you may be having your um, solar plexus attacked right now. You're dealing with somebody that's very power hungry. Tell me more about La Luna. Either show me, okay? They're trying to affect your ability to make good choices, okay? Trying to send obstacles in your way. Some of you that are younger, you have to be mindful, um, you know, of, of partying too much, of putting, getting your vibration uh, too low. I'm hearing somebody that you may have met this last full month, moon cycle with somebody that was sent to you. Okay, it could be a Libra moon. You could be a Libra a moon. They could also be a Cancer Pisces, uh, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio because we did see that. But ultimately, it could be any sign. Okay, we have shapeshifters. Why is truth here? You're gonna find out some sort of truth about someone that you just met. Okay, for some of you, this person may be coming towards you with the dreaming here. Watch your dreams here. People trying to astral project into your dreams. Some of you are, um, you, your sacral is being affected at this time. Okay. Some of you may be having kidney stones or, um, Something may be happening with your reproductive system. Maybe they are doing some sort of magic on your reproductive system. Again, trying to sleep with you in, in the ethereal realm to put some sort of entity on you. Trying to throw you off, trying to throw off your creativity. What is this fragmented energy? What is this fragmented energy? Positiveness, okay. So, yeah, they don't like the fact that you are in a high vibration or they feel like you are in a high vibration. For some of you, these people think that you are are hiding it. So they're looking for little ways um, to penetrate, to penetrate. Now, I had um, someone that was karmic send me jewelry before. OK, maybe this may have happened or has happened to you. OK. I didn't, I, I couldn't quite, I didn't quite know where it was coming from because it was coming from multiple people. However, uh, there came a point one day when the jur when the bracelet just broke and shattered. Okay. Some of you may be experiencing that with this fragmented ener energy, with a gentleness and expectation. Somebody feels like you owe them. I'm hearing take your kindness for weakness. Be mindful of people giving you anything at this time. Why is crystals and healing, especially if you're on a spiritual journey or you call yourself a twin? Okay, yeah, shift. So they feel um, you taking your energy back. Some of you, these people, were able to manifest off of your energy. With the loneliness in reverse, you may have been isolated or had some sort of isolation spell done on you, okay? Now these people are feeling the shift and they are becoming sick. For some of you, it could be their counterparts accusing you of doing sorcery or witchcraft. And, you know, some of you, they have their counterparts helping them or they're paying people. Why is the Ogami, Ogami here with the nature? Yeah. Some of you may need to connect to your um, your DNA, okay, to your ancestors. Some I, I've been saying this. If you watch in tarot, you need to have an ancestor's altar. You need to, whether you do tarot or not, okay, because you need the extra protection here. Some of you are getting uh, heavy downloads when you go into nature, okay. Some of you may be feeling like you're being watched because... When you go into the nature, I, I used to feel like the trees were watching me as well. But there, there are entities um, that people can conjure up, 
with, with magic to have you seeing things in the trees, okay? Why is Ogami here? Yeah, it's about your destiny. We have will, okay? So you have the willpower to persevere. Some of you are afraid to go outside. You need to use your intuition and not operate off of fear. At the bottom of the deck, we have guilt. So, yeah. Some of you, you dealt with somebody that sent you some negative energy. Now they're feeling guilty. This person could also be watching you, especially if you have a, a platform. You may have criticized this person, okay? They didn't accept you in the past. Now they see you as abundance, uh, as abundant here. Why is gentleness in reverse? Passion and fear. So they fear the higher you get, the higher you get, the, the more you get away from them with the comfort here. They don't like the fact that you are learning to love yourself. For some of you, you may have been um, very codependent or they seen you as codependent here with expectations. They thought you were going to come back. For some of you, somebody could have left their clothes at your house. Okay, you may uh, expect it, this person to come back. For some of you, this person did come back and they were not um, very good. They, uh, they put you like in a, a bind, a, Possibly a financial buying here. This person likes, for some of you, you have a good home or uh, um, luxury items or something here. So they feel comfortable around you. I do get the energy of a um, energy vampire here. Yeah. I would be my... <laughs> Hold on. I would be mindful um, of this person. For some of you, they are in your home. Okay, you may have been under the effects of some sort of spell work when you brought um, this back, this person back in. For some of you, this person came in with the spell, or they may be under some sort of spell. Why is shift here? Some of you, you are healers. You need to surrender to that fact that a lot of people that you have been encountering was meant for you to heal or you were supposed to teach them some sort of lesson and let them go. I'm getting the energy of somebody that is just now picking up on their spiritual calling here with the shift and the surrender. So you're being asked to surrender um, to your calling here. Okay, so you can heal. Some of you may need to do some healing here. Others of you, you are in the process of, of, of an upgrade because you have healed. All right. I do feel like this is the energy of someone that may have casted a spell on you. All right. Especially if they were messing with your sacral and solar plexus, pulling on that kundalini energy, harvesting. They're under a lot of pain here. This is somebody that you, um, you were in a relationship with. You... Um, may have rejected this person. For some of you, this person is, is thinking about how to come back right now. Why is choice here? So you're going to have a choice to make when this person comes back here. I feel like you learned the lesson now you have to implement it. Yeah, but isolation here. There was an isolation spell here to throw you off balance. Why is Dream in here? Yeah. Okay. So they're trying to figure out how, why they can't astral project into your dreams. They're also trying to figure out where these ailments came from. Hold on. Somebody's definitely trying to figure out how you make your money. Okay. They are also um, trying to stop your money with this, um, with these spells that they are putting on you, whether if you're a tarot reader or not here, you see, we have pain and growth. They don't like the fact that, uh, these blockages are no longer working. Some of you need to practice calling in your energy uh, multiple times, okay? Especially if you're having a high fluctuation of people on your channel. Productivity. Yeah, these people are sad here because you are doing something that you love, okay? So we have all this yellow and this orange, all right? Um, somebody may also be having poor digestion. They're not able to digest their food uh, well, it's because they've been pulling on your energy for so long. These are people that they forgot. They forgot that they were energy harvesting here. And you are rejecting this person or you're being told to reject this person when they come back. Especially if this person is a Libra, okay? Or um, you are a Libra. It's going to resonate different because somebody's going to come back with a lie. 
All right. Somebody is going to try to act like they had nothing to do with this spell work. And yes, indeed, they did. Desire. Clarify desire. Yeah, you need to cleanse your energy. Okay, this is somebody that idealized you. For some of you, you could have children with this person, or this could be a child that is watching you and giving you the evil eye. All right, let's see. What is the messages I need to close out this reading with? So, when you hear an open, uh, when you hear an open, when you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement and it becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. Okay, so some of you, you are uh, taking in this negative energy as it, um, as it being your own. I'm seeing someone, you know, in the mirror and they're not liking what they're seeing. You have to love yourself, okay? Because if you don't, you won't last on this um, on this journey here, okay? So it says, seek to know the truth. And we have an open book here. Somebody's trying to really figure out, either they're trying to figure out the truth about who's doing the magic here. This person doesn't really believe that it's someone in their family, okay? And I'm getting intuitively that this person has been blaming you for a lot, okay? But you do not know this person would be impeccable with your word here. This person um, assumes that you are, for some of you, these people don't know the difference between tarot and magicians and dark magic. They associate it all um, with the same thing as being the same thing. Like these people are not very knowledgeable, but others of you, they're just dealing with somebody that's very manipulative and they really don't like you, especially if you are on a um, twin flame journey. We have taking things personally makes you pray for predators. They can hook your attention with one little opinion and feed you whatever poison they want. Refuse to eat the poison. So uh, this is something that was in the past. Okay. Somebody could have projected a lot of insecurities on you. That's what I'm getting. This person is watching you now. They don't like the fact that you are balanced. You're in tune. You're on your spiritual path or you are getting, um, doing good at a job. For some of you, there's a new relationship trying to come in and they are working or trying to block it. 